In last week's episode, we brought our mud racing project to Mr. RPM in North Carolina to completely rebuild the motor, while at the same time, increase performance. We have a good portion of the rebuild done, but let's jump back into the build and see what we net at the end of the day. We have a lot of guys that'll just uh, ship their motors down, we'll rebuild it, ship it back to them, and they'll install and tune. We have some guys, they, they don't want no part of it, they'll ship the whole bike down, or haul it down either way. Pull the engine out, rebuild it, whatever it needs, put it back in, and if it's high performance job, then we'll tune it. Kind of depends on what it is, but generally what we do is when we do a high performance job, we tune it for the same money. Labor-wise, it's all figured in. Like if we have to put it on a dyno and tune it with a power commander or whatever, that's all figured in. If it's any kind of performance build, and just about 99% you know, of the work we do is performance. We, every now and then we'll do a stalker. Then there's no tuning, it's, it is what it is. Hey, some guys can pull a motor out of a Can-Am in about 15 minutes after they've done it a few times. That's that's the truth. It don't take very long. You know, the racers, they've got everything fixed to where it comes out really quick and easy. And they've done it a bunch of times and they can pull her out just really quick. And that's a G1. G2, a little different story. They a little more trouble to work on. But a G1 is just so easy to work on compared to a lot of bikes and the newer machines. Having the ability to deck the heads right there at Greg's facility in just a matter of minutes is really important for getting the maximum compression because that means we're gonna get the most horsepower possible out of our 860. Actually making horsepower is easy today. You can make almost any amount you want to. Question is, how much does it cost? Well, these kits nowadays, we can make power for less than a thousand, what a few years ago could cost three to $5,000, as opposed to going in debt for some kind of new machine. Kind of like guys fix up older vehicles nowadays, we can fix up these older Can-Ams, because I mean, Can-Ams, in my opinion, is top of the line ATV. On the rebuild, we went with a five millimeter overboard throttle body, an engine programmer, an ECU reflash, and a full HMF exhaust. Now I was really excited to see what we were gonna get on the dyno. Factory on all these 800s is around 50 to 52 horsepower to the tire, which is pretty common on about any dyno. And these will make between 75 and 80. That's with Maverick heads, the Mr. RPM uh, Maverick style OEM heads, which are not but $250 a pair, Mr. RPM cams, stock 800R intake, board throttle body, HMF full exhaust, and of course a power commander and a reflash to tune with. You know, of course we pulled 79 horsepower on pump gas. You know, it's pretty easy to make 75. You know, anybody can do that. If you really, really want to dial it in and get all that, you can probably get 79, 80. Some, some guys make it 82, 83. So it's real good bang for the buck. The Can-Ams have a CVT, so tuning them is relatively easy compared to a lot of things. You basically don't use the whole map. So it, they tune quick and easy and they, they stay tuned. They don't, they don't lose their tune or nothing as long as the fuel pump stays clean, you have fuel pressure. But yeah, dyno tuning is uh, the way to go. You have real live rear wheel horsepower. CVTs take a lot more power than say a straight gear clutch type machine. Work great in the mud because there's no gears to change. You just gas it and go. Secret of a lot of things, it's gotta be tuned correctly. If it's not tuned, you're just spending more money because it's, it's gonna blow up. Either they're on their way to be blown up or they're blown up. But now the thing of it is, it don't cost a whole lot. Big deal if you blow it up. Build you another one, have another one in the floor, ready to go. Put in another bullet, hit it again. And at the end of this build, the bullet we put in this gun was able to hit 79.5 horsepower at the rear wheels. And I, for one, think that that is a super impressive start to this project. Thanks for watching this latest segment of Dirt Tracks TV. For more awesome content, feel free to click any of the links on the screen or subscribe to our YouTube page where we update daily with great content on a weekly basis.